What manner of man is this? What manner of man is this? That we and the sea obey him. What manner of man is this? Hallelujah. What manner of man is this? Hallelujah. What manner of man is this? Hallelujah. That we and the sea obey him. What manner of man is this? Jesus, oh yeah, the man keep on. I need to get out of here, and I want to run the land. Jesus, oh yeah, the man keep on. for another power must change and session we thank you for what you have been doing in this program since the inception of the program and we thank you for what you have promised to do here today accept our thanks in the name of jesus father as many of your children as are gathered onto this program let there be candidate upon common testimonies let there be candidate of mysterious breakthroughs Lay your hands upon your people, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Defeating and sensual yokes. Defeating and sensual yokes. There are different kind of enemies or foes a man may have. You can have current foes, 
past foes, future foes, ancient foes. The ancient foes are difficult to battle. So today's topic falls into that arena. It falls into the arena of the ancient foes. The Bible says, our fathers have sinned, and they are not. So we are now here to carry the consequences. But you see, the, the miracle about praying against these powers is this. When these kinds of prayers are properly executed, this prayed with fire, with power, with passion, with force, with violence, with faith. Ten things take place. Ten different things take place. Where people gather to just do that. Number one is extraordinary promotion. Number two is open disgrace of stubborn enemies. At this, when the kind of prayers against a central press are properly executed, not half done or, or quarterly done. No. Number three is unusual open doors. You just see the doors will open, you'll be surprised where it came from. Four is explosive prosperity. Five is the dismantling of long-term problems. When these prayers are properly executed. Number six is the recovery of lost virtues, lost opportunities. Lost blessings. When you properly execute it. The reason some of us take the prayers gently is because we don't know the power of ancestral yokes. They are the loudest voices in the school of this is how far you can go, you can't go further. They are the principal of the school of your father has never been here, your mother has never been here, nobody in your family has ever been here. Why do you want to be here? Why do you want to live in this kind of house? Your father never lived there, your grandfather never lived there, great grandfather never lived there. Why do you want to live there now? You, why? Several times in Deliverance Ground, we find voices telling us, please, 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 what is your business? Nobody in the family can prosper and has never prospered. So this one you are praying for two shall not prosper. We've had it several times. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power. I want a seven-foot thunderous amen for this. Any power anywhere. Whether in the heavens, in the sea, in the marine world, in the forest, in the atmosphere, in the coven, that says this is how far you can go. You cannot go further. With a seven-fold amen. We bury them now in the name of Jesus. You see, it's already happening. Some disgrace of impossibilities. Eight. It's miracles begin to happen that will make people respect your God. When these prayers are properly executed, these prayers are get simani kind of prayers. Get simani kind of prayers. It's not prayers you pray like this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. 
I bless you, Jehovah. It's not the kind of ice cream prayer like that. It's not the prayer of sign of the cross, no. To be, to be quite honest, they have no respect for that sign of the cross. They only have respect for Jesus Christ. For the, they have respect for the power in the blood of Jesus and for the work that was done on the cross of Calvary. Not you just do it like this. That's not prayer. It won't help anything in this one that I'm talking about. It's not this kind of prayer. It's not the kind of prayer where your half heart is somewhere as you're just roaming around. <laughs> it's not kind of, that kind of prayer. It, if you are praying that kind of prayer, and you just waste it. They won't, you won't, they won't budge. They won't budge at all. Not the kind of prayer you are praying. Your hand, your legs, your body don't even know that you are praying. So really, if you are not ready to pray like that, it's better to just share the grace and you go home. Or you pray gentler prayers. The ancestral prayers will not ask a person not to gather wealth. No. They will make the person gather it. The one day they just wreck everything. Miracles that will make people believe and respect your God happens when you properly execute the prayer against ancestral yokes. The ninth thing that happens is unbelievable favors and wonders that will alter the course of your own history. Then, last one, is destruction of the power base of darkness. For every power attacking people have their base. So everything now depends on how you pray. How seriously you pray it. In Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 4, when the time comes to pray, I want you to pray like blind Bartimaeus, whose prayer was considered offensive and embarrassing and too loud. Ezekiel 16, 4. And as for thy nativity, nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut. Neither was thou washing water to salt whole day. Thou was not salted at all, not swaddled at all. In the day that he was born, the umbilical cord was not separated from the mother. This, the current is still passing. Let's pick a typical example. Let's pick somebody called Moab. In Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 11. Jeremiah 48, 11. Moab was in trouble. Moab had problems. Jeremiah 48 11. Moab had been at ease from his youth. And he had said tool on his lease. And had not been empty from vessel to vessel. Neither had he gone into captivity. Therefore, his taste remained in him and his scent is not changed meaning that the life of Moab has not moved forward it has not changed the same thing yes he did the same thing nothing no progress maybe wonder what's wrong with Moab but by the time you get to the book of Genesis chapter 19 you know what went wrong with Moab. In Genesis chapter 19, from verse 30, 
you read a very interesting story. Genesis 19, from verse 30. And Lot went up out of Zoar. And his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zoar. And he dwelt in a cave. He and his two daughters. These two daughters now plan for their father. They got him drunk. So this first daughter went there. Because Lot was drunk. Impregnated her. Second daughter got there. Lot was drunk. Impregnated her. In verse 35. And they made their fathers drink wine that night also. And the younger one arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when she lay down or when she rose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bear a son. And called his name Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. No wonder Moab was not moving forward. There was an ancestral problem of incest in his background. But thank God for Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing there is something known as yoke but there is something that can destroy it the anointing that's why we sing by the anointing jesus breaks the yoke that's why we sing by the reason of anointing every yoke must be broken those songs are from this scripture the yoke is a wooden harness tying animals together to pull a load the yoke it's an implement of toil. The yoke is a symbol of service. The yoke suggests blood and sweat. Because the yoke is on the neck of the oxen, it rubs the neck of the oxen and causes wound on the neck of the oxen. Yokes are deadly destroyers. Yokes are tormentors and terminators. Yokes are robbers taking away pleasures and imposing pressure. Yokes are afflictions that are too difficult to personally break and too heavy to bear. A yoke is anything that puts a limitation or painful restriction, restriction upon your life. A yoke is an embargo. Yoke is any hold of demonic forces upon a life. So it binds, it bites, it burns, it breaks. It brings restriction and limitation. Yokes are demonic additions to make man's life miserable. Yokes are those demonic bodies that make the bearer a misfit. The yoke are demonic speed breakers. A terrible and terrible demonic weight slowing people down every yoke 
as far as the Bible is concerned, can only be destroyed by the anointing. Not by drinking salty water. Not by being whipped in the church. Not by going to have your bath at the beach. Not by throwing your clothes into the river. Not for celebrating, not by celebrating the money parties. All yokes can only be broken by the anointing. Yokes can be exchanged and you think it's gone, but you just exchange it to another yoke. That's why I want you to raise up your voices like fire and like thunder as to fire this first prayer. Shout at the way blind Bartimaeus shouted. Yoke breaker! Jesus Christ! I am available! Break my yoke now! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and pray it. Call on the yoke breaker. Makapota seteli kayabo shandaraba. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your seat, beloved. But there is a yoke that can glue a man down to one spot for life. There is a yoke that can blow away the favor of a man. There is a yoke that sends a man permanently to the tail region. That is a yoke. That is an expert at paralyzing shining stars. That is a yoke. That says others may climb, but not you. That is a yoke that can reduce a man to instant rags. Unfortunately and tragically, there is a yoke that can dismiss a man from the garden of greatness. Even if the person enters the garden of greatness, that yoke will eventually pull him down. What are these yokes? The ancestral powers. The ancestral powers. What are ancestral powers? I want to try and explain this to you very well before you start praying. They are evil powers of your father's house. They are family tree demons. They are powers of inherited idols. If they worship any form of idol in your family, you should pray like a mad prophet here today. If you come from those areas where there is shrine at the back of every house, or you can still recollect your parents going about with sacrificing to Satan. You really need to pray like a mad prophet today. Ancestral powers are powers constituting the principalities in your heavens. There are powers assigned to punish a family or to extend a curse on a family. There are powers assigned to afflict a family. There are powers assigned to monitor a lineage for evil. There are foundational powers that have been worshipped by the ancestors. They are the stubborn spirits that have been living at the root of the family tree for many years. 
they are ancient spirits so modern day prayer will not work you need traditional ancient Pentecostal prayers they are transmissible powers evil transmissible power that people are born with they are, they are powers in our lineages that hate the true worship of Jehovah they are tribal resident powers they are stubborn spirits that are rooted in the family there are powers claiming to be your dead family members they are the ones sponsoring repeated evil history in the family they are the strong men assigned against your family there are powers present in the family to steal to kill and to destroy they are the powers that appear as dead relatives and masquerades in your dreams. There are powers behind sicknesses that go in the family from generation to generation. They are basically behind the automatic failure mechanism. Immediately a person wants to get to something, they break the person up. The hereditary powers that aid your progress and success. They program backwardness. They supply information about the family to all kinds of covens. They transfer bad luck from person to person. They use the voices of idol to terrorize people. They work with other spirits to trouble the life of a man. These are powers on generational or genealogical assignments. Some people call them hereditary powers. Yes, they are correct. They are demonic persecutors from the lineages. They are family oppressors family dictators family pharaoh family goliath the ancient authority in that lineage the bloodline demons powers claiming to own the, to, that the, the powers claiming that the whole family belongs to them they claim they own the family there are powers that are sometimes planted in the family because of the vows their ancestors have made. These are ancestral powers. They have powers. I don't want to deceive you. Anybody who is into deliverance will tell you they are very powerful. They qualify for what Jesus calls strong man, strong man, strong man. They have magnetic power. They can appear, people can see them in their dreams. They may not know what they are, but that's what they are. That's why some people, anytime they close their eyes, they find themselves in a family house. They find themselves being chased around by masquerades or dead relatives. They are highly organized and they have up to date record of every family. They ensure a particular family is identified with evil. They ensure a particular sickness goes around the family. They may even try to convince people that their prayers are not effective. They hate the worship of true Jehovah. They hinder spiritual growth. They have no mercy, no forgiveness. They continue in their operation unless you stop them. They are the ones producing the dropouts. They cause lack of vision. They have no respect for anybody. That you are a pastor. A priest, 
I have no respect. They didn't have respect for Abraham. They had no respect for Moses. They dealt with Abraham, they dealt with Moses. They had no respect for David, they dealt with David. Abraham, if you begin to study the life story of Abraham, find the ancestral power of lying, 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 going through the whole family. And you find this chain of firstborn losing their inheritance. Isaac got the inheritance, Ishmael did not. Jacob got the inheritance, Esau did not. There were 12 sons of Jacob. Joseph, very young one, got the inheritance. When Joseph brought his, the two children, Ephraim and Manasseh, the youngest one got the inheritance. This first is first Jacob. They defeated Jacob. They fought Moses. They defeated Moses. They fought Aaron. They defeated Aaron. They fought Gideon. They defeated Gideon. They fought Solomon. They defeated Solomon. But by the reason of the anointing, their yokes are broken. There are some families. Nobody lives long enough to become old. There are some families. Everybody is a polygamist. There are some families. Men are not always satisfied with one wife. There are some families. There is incest in the family. There are some families. Some people just walk away and disappear. You don't know whether they are dead or they are alive. They just disappear. There are some families. Husbands are always sleeping with housemates. There are some families. They have these hereditary diseases. There are some families. It's insanity throughout the family. There are some families. It's women, they don't enjoy their marriages. There are some families. I say chain of marital delay. As some families, it's near success syndrome, backwardness, bad husbands, bad wives. As some families, husbands die prematurely. As some families, broken marriages, broken marriages, broken marriages. As some families, uncontrollable anger. As some families, is poverty. Some alcoholism. As some family, there is always regular accidents. As some families, there is always constant financial mess. As some families, husbands who marry from there don't work. It's only the wife that works. As some family, somebody is always murdered in a tragic way. You have things like that, which are ancestral powers, troubling, troubling, troubling people. If you now don't break it from your own end, the tragedy is that it will be transferred to the children. And this is why in a day like this, it is good to pray like a man or woman from another world. This morning, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. That is non negotiable. You need to repent from every known sin. You need to wage war against these ancestral powers. Wage war against these ancestral powers. A grandfather, 78 years old, came here to see me some years back. And he told me a pathetic story. He said, at the age of 77, he is bedwetting. His son 
bedwetting. The grandchildren bedwetting. And that he had that the great grandfather grew to bedwet. So that spirit is an ancestral thing flowing through the family. As you are listening to me now, start to think. Think about your mother. Think about your father. Are there things that went wrong with them? And you already seen the traces in your own life. You have the opportunity to engage the anointing. To engage the anointing against those powers. Rise to your feet now. In case you are here, you are not born again. You've not turned your life to Jesus. Raise up your right hand where you are. Or connect to us through our numbers on the screen. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you said I should pray with me. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to Jesus in this program. Father, keep them standing by your power. Let every yoke be broken today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. It is time now. Time now. But there's a song I want you to sing. Sing it while clapping your hands. Sing it with a loud voice. The Bible says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was nothing made that was made. That is what is known as the resurrection power. I want you to pull down that power upon your head now. And the more violently you sing it and pray it and clap it, the better. Are you ready now? That resurrection power work miracles in my life. Today, today, work miracles in my life. That resurrection power work miracles in my life. Today, today, walk miracles in my life. The resurrection power, walk miracles in my life. Oh, yes, today, today, walk miracles in my life. The resurrection power, walk miracles in my life. Today, today, walk miracles in my life. The resurrection power, walk miracles in my life. Today, today, what miracles in my life? The resurrection power, what miracles in my life? Today, 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 today. what miracles louder, in louder, my louder, life? Louder, 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 louder. Let me take a look, a look, a look, a look. Ta ta, ta ta, what do you mean to do? In the middle of the night, what do you mean to do? Ta ta, ta ta, what do you mean to do? from another world is this can you shout this loud and clear powers that stop my ancestors you cannot stop me the, in the name of Jesus
Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Yes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that must die for my life to move forward. Die in the name of Jesus. something is going on something is happening there open your mouth open your mouth in jesus name we pray i want you to really lose your temper as you pray this one Pass! dragging me backward you are a lord in the name of jesus This is not a death on a In Jesus' name we pray. The next three prayers requires boiling anger. Boiling anger. And I want to counsel the sisters to pray it hard. of delay operating in my root can you shout it loud Pray! in the name of Jesus Approaching my root, break. In Jesus' name, we pray. My parents' shoes and garments of suffering. Can you say that loud? Shall not fit me. Can I hear you shouting this one? Parents' shoes and garments of suffering. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. name we pray every satanic tree in my family catch fire in the name of Jesus something is happening now the trees must be destroyed Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That is the first round of our prayers. 
please kindly bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting now. If you have a first fruit to give, just label it first fruit. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering and the first fruit and the seeds. Let your anointing fall upon your children in the name of Jesus. Bless your children to the finding degree. In Jesus' name we pray. While the choir ministration is on, you can see the boxes close to you. you can put the offerings there.
lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, I've been you, talked about, so the I've been up and down, almost to the ground, but long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long, 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 cause I got him, don't need nobody, I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, I've been you, Talked about so the dawn I've been high down Almost to the ground But long as I got King Jesus Long as I got King Jesus Long, long, long Cause I got him don't need nobody I don't need nobody I don't need nobody I don't need nobody I don't need nobody No mother, father, father, father sister, sister, brother, brother I say, long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long, 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 cause I got him, don't need nobody else, I don't need nobody else, I don't need nobody else, no father, mother, sister, brother, no doctor, no lawyer, no preacher, no teacher, I say, Long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long, 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 cause I got him, don't need nobody else. I've been lied on, lied on, lied on, lied on, have you ever, I've been lied on, have you ever, I've been lied on, you do what I mean, I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, I've been used, gone, talked about, so I've been lied on. I know he's a burden bearer. I know he's a heavy load sharer. I know bridge of a water. I know a doctor and a lawyer. Good job, friend, where you pray that? Oh Lord, a mother and a mother. He'll be bread where you're hungry. He'll be a doctor where you're lonely. As long as I got him, long as I got King Jesus. I know he's a burden bearer. I know he's a heavy load sharer. Good job, bridge of a water. A doctor and a lawyer Long as I got King Jesus Long as I got King Jesus Wait a minute, wait a minute I got him, I got him I got him, I got him He's a lily of the valley He's a bright and morning star He's a rose of sand He's a bright and yeah. young He wants to be and he talks to me He's a holy soldier The holy lover Eyes are fit now, and all eyes closed. Father, we thank you for your children you brought to this program. We thank you for the prayer request that the children have brought to this meeting. Father, answer the prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. Every prayer request that you have written shall become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. The God that answered the prayer of Hezekiah 
shall answer your prayer by fire in the name of Jesus. And now we are praying for those celebrating their birthday this month. Let your hand be upon them for good in the name of Jesus. Continue to lay your hands upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay one hand on your head. The other one close to your belly button. And let your amen roar like thunder. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you because of the anointing that breaketh every yoke. You and central stronghold of delay. Operating in the root of any life. Whether you like it or not. No matter how long you have been staying there. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thou power that eats success. That eats breakthrough. That consumes progress. That consumes breakthrough wherever you are hiding makapota lika ribo sota lika ribo kata in the body soul and spirit of anyone listen to me now i uproot you in the name of jesus receive your deliverance receive it 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 let your amen roar like thunder receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of Jesus open your mouth now don't say anything just open that mouth don't say anything any ancestral power living in this system the spirit of your grandmother living in that sister the essential powers that will occupy your destiny since I know you are very stubborn because of that I set fire upon you your hiding place I set the fire 900 billion fold to torment you out of your hiding place Bakapo Tali Karibo Seta I ask for 2,000 angels with their horse whip of fire to whip you out of your hiding place. To whip you out of your hiding place. Lose your hood. Lose your hood. Get out of. Lose your hood. Get out of. Lose your hood. Get out of. Lose your hood. Get out. Lose your hood. Get out. In the name of Jesus. You can't hide. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. They're coming out. Push them out. They must go. Push them out. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray this prayer now. I want a 21 fold giant. Amen to this prayer. You power of premature death on the way of greatness of anyone here Damn! louder louder bakate satia ribo kapila kariro bakaponde ketea ribo kosotonde keya bo shenteraba maka louder 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 Makaya da Sata, Riba Kosopola Kaya Bosha. You can't hide. You can't hide. Can you shout this seven times? 
you shout it seven times and then you will say heal my foundation with a loud voice seven times you now say heal my foundation blood of Jesus blood of Jesus blood of yes Yes, blood of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. As you are praying this next prayer, you will be slapping your belly button. You'll be slapping it as you're praying this prayer. If it's pain, you don't worry. The pain will soon stop. But as you're slapping it, as you're praying this, I'll be slapping it. Spiritual umbilical cord. Time me to hardship. True and sensual powers. Spiritual umbilical cord. Tie me to hardship. True umbilical cord. Die in the name of Jesus. Be praying and be slapping the umbilical cord. Slap it, slap it. Yes. Slap the naval area. Something is happening. Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. It's happening. Yes. What we'll stop your ancestors? Shall not stop you and your children. The heir of your glory and honor. The hair. The hair on your head of your glory and honor. Cut off by the wicked. Shall grow back by fire in the name of Jesus. He shall grow back. 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 In the name of Jesus. He shall grow back in the name of Jesus. bridge of darkness linking anyone here to ancestral curses I command that bridge to be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus break 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 louder 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 the bridge must be broken break 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 in the name of Jesus beginning from now what has been difficult for you shall become easy beginning from now you shall become a divine phenomenon beginning from now you shall become a mysterious wonder beginning from now those who have been seeing you before when they see you again they will not be able to decode or interpret you For you will have become greater, mightier, stronger. Every platform of suffering and shame, every platform of disappointment prepared against you by your ancestors, I destroy the platform in the name of Jesus. Like the Amen who are like thunder. I destroy the platform. I destroy the platform. I destroy the platform in the name of Jesus. Yes. Say this loud and clear. Say, my father. Shout 
Jizla. You are my glory and the lifter of my hand. Can I hear you shouting that? Your voice is not loud enough. Lift up my head in the name of Jesus. Command your head to be lifted up. Jesus name we pray silence brother sister over there something is going to come out of you now it's a foundational power that wants you to be missing on the day of your glory and honor it's going to come out now as I count seven from here they will jump out and go back to the bottom of the pit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let her go, let her go. that your child that is old enough to talk but is not talking the ancestral power holding that child is broken now receive your accelerator promotion in the name of Jesus all the pain like objects and the ancestral spirit husband assigned against you I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Aha. Before you leave here, there are three non negotiable prayers. Let your hand pray. Let your leg pray. Let the whole of your body pray. This is the kind of prayer you pray and you are sweating. It's a Gethsemane kind of prayer. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Let my enemies destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. name we pray please increase your violence say battles older than me and my parents fighting my destiny can you say this with anger older than me and my parents in the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening, something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, before you go, I wish you could see what the Lord has been doing here this morning. This is marvelous. This is wonderful. Say this with fire and with power. As the Lord opened the womb of Hannah. Womb of my breakthroughs. Open my 
fire in the name of Jesus. Papa Rikata Likayaba Nariboko Sopole Kayabosha. Open, 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 open your mouth. Shout it, shout for it to open up. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion, makes his face to shine upon you. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. This month shall be a wonderful month for you. A month of breakthrough, joy, and happiness. In the name of Jesus, I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall befall you. No affliction, no pandemic, no sickness shall move close to your camp. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And let us share the grace and fellowship. Love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy are follow all days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. 21 Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. Let's go. Yeah.